Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I have a super fun unboxing for you. I just got a very large order from Scrapbook.com. It's actually a combination order. I have a couple of uh, really good crafty friends that we used to go craft shopping a lot and really enjoyed it. And of course, haven't really been able to do that since the pandemic started. So we actually went crafty shopping online together and we all were on a Zoom and we were all checking out Scrapbook.com and seeing some great deals that they had. And so we did one large order and I'm going to divide up the order and uh, deliver it to their house. Houses. So I thought I would show you what all was in our haul because it's always fun to see a super big order. So I'm going to open up the box, move it to the side a little bit because it is super big and start showing you what we got. Let's go. As always, I will link everything down below so you can check out any of these supplies from scrapbook.com. Heads up, those are affiliate links. So they don't cost you any more, but they do go a long way to supporting this channel. So if you were gonna shop anyway, then by all means, feel free to use these links. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, the first thing that we got would be a bunch of sprays. So I am working on finishing up collecting all of these different Distress Oxide sprays and Dina Wakely Media sprays. And I am so excited to see all of these beautiful colors. Okay, I know this looks like a lot. I've been saving up to buy these for a while. I am now newly reinvigorated to get into my art journaling and sprays are one of my favorites. So there were a lot of colors that I did not have. This is not the complete collection. There are still several colors that I left out. A lot of the reds I did not buy because I don't use red very often, but I'm so excited to test these out, see how they do. Tons and tons of Distress Oxide ones. And then I did finish getting some of the Dina Wakely gloss sprays that I hadn't had a chance to pick up before. And these are so fun. It's so fun to mix and match these two different sprays. I cannot wait to start playing this weekend with all of this gorgeousness. So this was the main part of my haul, a ton, ton, ton of sprays. I will be swatching these and using them in upcoming videos. And I think you're really gonna enjoy it. All right, to go along with the sprays, I also picked up a Distress Spray Storage Tin, and it probably seems silly that I just have one tin when I have so many different sprays, but this will be primarily for my Dina Wakely sprays. Whenever I am bringing in new products to my craft room, I always like to plan ahead where I'm going to organize them and my spray storage is limited. So I'm hoping that I will be able to use this as kind of my overflow storage for those Dina Wakely gloss sprays for the time being. Okay, this is one of the frosted bins from scrapbook.com. So fun. It has a lid. These are great for stamp storage for any kind of storage. I love how straight the lines are and you can use this as a separate storage piece. So it can go over the top like so, so that they can stack. You can put them in, fits nicely right there. And then you have additional storage. You can use this as a separate tray. There's lots of ways to use this. I love the frosted look. So a little bit of storage. We also got a lot of other storage because it was on sale. Let me show you some of the storage pieces we purchased. Okay, like I said, it was kind of like storage galore. There was a huge sale. I'm not sure if it's still happening, but if it is, you definitely wanna check it out. These, let's start from the smallest. So these are new to me, and I'm really excited to try them out. So these are plastic envelopes. You see they say scrapbook.com. You can just slide the end in right there. They're pretty sturdy. I have a friend that uses these for all of her paper pieces, which is pretty cool and a great idea because you can see through it. I am planning on using some for some stamp storage for my smaller stamps. So I'm excited to give these a try. Um, all of my friends bought plenty of them. So I will be distributing these amongst us. So a ton of these, these were such a fantastic deal. 
last weekend, a ton of the little ones. And then um, we also picked up some of the medium sized ones. Let me show you what those look like. Slightly larger, not even slightly, pretty significantly larger. And great for holding some more digital pieces, some larger stamp sets. These are super cute. I really like how they're cinched right here. They seem like they're gonna be a really good quality and hold up really well. And again, I'm really fan, a big fan of clear storage, frosted storage, where you can still see what's going on inside. So picked up a couple of packages of those. And if you've been watching my channel, then you know I am a huge fan of these paper file storage pieces. So um, these are from Storage Studios. They sell them on Amazon, but they also sell them on scrapbook.com. And for right now, they are cheaper on scrapbook.com. So what these are, let me see if I can open, this will be my pack and I'll open this one up for you. This is how I store my 12 by 12 paper. So again, a clear envelope. It keeps sets together really well. So collections, if you are someone that does subscription kits, um, this has been a lifesaver for me. Probably one of my favorite storage solutions that I've come across in the midst of this pandemic. So I needed just a few more. My friends picks up some also. And like I said, normally I pick them up from Amazon, but this time around they were cheaper on scrapbook.com and we were putting in an order anyway, so picked up a few more of those. It is so fun getting a big order and getting to go through it. Um, I do have the complete set of Distress Oxide inks and there turned out to be some of the new ones that I was missing. So I picked up the four colors, Crackling Campfire, Speckled Egg, Quiche Flamingo, and Rustic Wilderness. So I'm excited to add those, swatch those out and use them. I have been out of Pixie Spray for the longest time. If you have not tried a Pixie Spray, it is amazing. So I use this when I am doing stenciling and you spray the back of your stencil with this, put it down, it adheres it really lightly so you can get some clean stenciling done and then comes right back up, doesn't damage the piece that you're working on and cleans off the stencil pretty well. So love Pixie Spray, I was completely out so I was glad to get some more. And then my friend Amanda picked up these and these are a glitter brush marker. So what it is, is kind of like a water brush pen and it, brushes on some glitter. So some really light, gentle glitter, great for art journaling, great for adding just a little bit of shimmer without having to pull out your full thing of glitter and getting really messy. So she bought a three pack of those. I'm excited to see what she ends up doing with those. So, so fun. Okay, here is another bag of goodness full of all kinds of fun goodies. So three by four journaling pocket cards. This is going to come in really handy in my morning journaling time and Bible journaling. Just simple lined cards, nothing to them, but pre-lined, ready to put in as tip-ins in your memory keeping and all kinds of things. I saw these and thought that these would be coming really handy. So I was glad to pick some up. These are the white dividers. Look how fun the little tabs are, I love that. I didn't know they came with these. So these work really well with that frosted bin that I showed you earlier, if you're organizing stamps or cards or something like that. So white dividers that are a nice, pretty thick plastic and they come with those cute little tabs. I love that. Here is a set of fun Word Fuddy, Word Fuddy, Word Fetty stamps that are scrapbook.com brand. I've never had a scrapbook.com brand stamp, so I'm anxious to see how this goes. I thought these were wonderful words that I could use over and over. I liked the size of them for my memory planning, knew that they would come in super handy, so I'm excited to give those a try. All right, a couple of new dies. These are from Hero Arts and they are part of their confetti die line. So a fantastic way to use up your scraps is to kind of tape them over the confetti, run it through your machine. You have a bunch of beautiful confetti that you can use for shaker cards, for fillers on um, envelopes. And then you can also create these cool pieces like cool card fronts 
that already have all of this cut out. So maybe you're doing mixed media projects and you have a bunch of these papers, you run it through. Not only do you have the pretty confetti, but you have the card front as well. These are gonna be super cool. This is one of the scrapbook.com stencils. It is their star stencil. I also have never tried their stencils, so I think this is gonna be a lot of fun to see in action. And Dina Wakely Collage Collective 2, Volume 1. So this is the Dina Wakely art that you can cut apart, use. Um, it's cool because it comes in two different thicknesses. So the front is kind of a thinner paper, easier to tear. The back is more cardstock, so it holds up a little bit better. So depending on what your project is, these are great pieces to use. I love, love, love some Dina Wakely. So that's yet another bag of fun goodness. Okay, not gonna lie, this is what I am most excited about. I got my first gel printing plate and I have wanted some of these forever and have just never pulled the trigger. I am so excited to give them a try. You can expect a video for sure coming up. I went with the Dilutions brand. I got this pack that has three different sizes in it because I thought that would be really helpful to kind of play around and see what size I liked the best. I got a small brayer tool. I've never used this either, so we'll see how that goes. I already have some other mixed media tools that I think are going to come in really handy as I play with the gel plate. And then I got the storage tin so that I have a place to put everything. Like I said, Whenever I'm bringing something new into my craft room, I always like having a plan for how it's gonna be stored and where it's gonna be stored. So now I know how this one will be stored. All right, so as you can see, we had such a fun time shopping together. It is always fun to get a huge haul in of new supplies to play with. I'll be dividing these up and dropping them off at my friend's house, but I thought that you guys might like to see what we purchased before I did that. So. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Um, like I said, links to everything down below if you want to check those out. And otherwise, I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.